In this video I will show you how to generate random numbers on Arduino. And this video is also the first part of a small project that I call the DICE project. Let's jump right into the code. So inside of my setup I would like to start a serial connection. And then I will define an integer variable with the name my random number equal to random 100. So what it does, random 100 generates a random number between 0 and 99. My random number will never have the number 100. I will serial print my number so that I see my random number and it is a decimal. All right, let's see what my random number is. Let's upload it to the Arduino and I get the random number seven. Okay, so let's try this again. I clear my output and now I press the reset button on my Arduino. My Arduino reboots and I'm lucky, right? It's seven again. So let's clear the output and try it again. Reset the Arduino. Seven again. What are the odds? It turns out Arduino's random numbers are deterministic. If you restart Arduino, you will get the same numbers. And that's not great for dice. But anyway, here comes your first exercise. I would like you to change the code so that it actually outputs the numbers from a dice. From one to six. We could generate numbers between 0 and 6, but a dice shouldn't output 0, right? It should start with 1. We generate numbers between 0 and 5, and then we just add 1. And I will copy this, and I will generate random numbers every 500 milliseconds. Perfect. So we see random numbers. 2, 2, 2, 6, 3, 5, 3, 1. Yeah, this looks like dice numbers. And it turns out there is a different solution. And that is we can provide random with both the first number and the number that will be already excluded. This should also generate numbers between 1 and 6. Yes, perfect. But let's stop this madness. Let's put everything back. Now again, if I press reset, I get the number 2. If I press reset again, I get the number 2 again. In order to improve the randomness, we can use the function random seed and provide something that is random, like an unconnected analog pin, for example. And if you haven't seen it, uh, check out my video about analog read. Before we generate our random number, we will use random seed and I will use analog read zero. As you can see, analog zero is not connected. So it is floating and it will generate some nice random numbers, hopefully. So let's see if this improves our randomness. Our random number is five, six, two, two, one. Not bad, right? Not bad. So we successfully added some randomness. But the ADC only has 10 bits, 1024 different seeds. Not great, not terrible. So here comes your exercise. I would like to press a button and every time I press a button, a truly random number should be generated. I want you to use random seed, but not with an analog read. There should be something else that is truly random. We press a button and a random number will be generated. We press a button after some time and the random number will be generated. We press a button after some random time and the random number will be generated. 
Yes, we will use the thyme as seed. So my button will be connected to ground and to pin seven. And now I remove this stuff for now. We start with pin mode. Pin seven is an input with a pull up. And then we check if digital read pin seven is zero. So if it's pressed, it will be zero. We can also write low or we can also write exclamation mark and remove this. So if not digital read seven, this means the button is pressed. And if we press the button, we will generate a random number. And this random number will be based on millis. Let's try. As soon as I press the button, a huge number of random numbers will be generated. Okay, we need to change this. Here is your third exercise. Every time I press the button, it should just generate one random number and not a crazy amount of them. So one simple solution is to just add a delay. <laughs> Um, if we add a delay of 1000, then we have enough time to release the button, right? But this is not a nice solution, I would say. We could do something else. We could check if the button is pressed and the button was not pressed. Button was not pressed. And this will be a Boolean variable that we check right here if digital read seven so in this case the button is not pressed and we will say button was not pressed equals true and we will define this as a bool button was not pressed equals true so we define a new variable and by the way, this is a global variable. So this is outside of the loop and will be accessible for everything. So if the button was not pressed, it will save button was not pressed equals true. And then we only jump into generating the random number if the button was not pressed before. But then we also need to set it to false here because then it will be false so the button was not pressed equals false and we will not directly run this again let's wrong programming language no capital letter i will press the button boom three as you can see there is a little bit of bounce and we can remove this bounce by adding a delay and we can use a very tiny delay 50 milliseconds five six uh one when i release the button get the second number i think i will add another delay right here yeah if i close the button then it's not just closed it looks like this in slow motion <laughs> in slow motion it looks like this and it opens it a few times so it's on off on off on off true false true false true false and by adding this small delay we can remove this and we can play around with these numbers so maybe 20 milliseconds is fine let's see yeah 20 milliseconds is fine okay but I would like to test something else. We delete it, we restart the Arduino. And now if I press it, I get six, five, six, three, four. And now I restart Arduino and I should get different numbers. And it starts with one, three, 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 four, five. So completely different numbers than before.
If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel if you're ready to dive deep into the world of Arduino. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.